Uh, like, uh, before I went to him, I was talking to you about the scientific nature of this. Because um, as much as it's perception based, there are countries who feed on polling. I mean, I think with the US elections last year, they were even poll of polls. Yeah. At some point, they were pulling polls to know what, and all of that eventually still failed. Because people believe there's a scientific nature to a lot of this. You know, the poll, like you said, demographics, the poll, there's always, there's supposed to be a pattern, a pattern to this. So you're saying it's all just completely perception? Um, it's a survey. A, a survey simply is asking your opinion on specific questions. And your opinion is exactly that, an opinion. It's not fact. So what statistics tries to do is to interpret an aggregation of opinion and to say how much does this reflect fact, okay? So this is, this is what it is. So, so for example, the most popular poll in the world is the Corruption Perception Index, mm -hmm. which is very popular. But if you look at the statistical basis for it, it has inherent flaws that makes it inadequate for interpreting the corruption levels of a country. For example, the Asians measure corruption in terms of impact. Not how much is stolen or what was stolen, <laughs> but what is the impact. Okay? The Americans measure percept uh, corruption in terms of um, the spread. How widely? How corrupt I, is, the, is the generality of the people? It, yes. <laughs> Here, we measure the intensity. How much did he steal? He was just uh, 6 million. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so the man that stole 10 billion is more corrupt. So, so, exactly. So when you look at this, for example, when there was an the Enron crisis in the U.S., that year Nigeria ranked third most corrupt. U.S. was still among the best guys. Yet, 20 trillion was wiped out of the U.S. stock market. That is Nigeria's budget for nearly 900 years, <laughs> stolen in one year. So you see, that, that, that shows you the inherent flaw in these kinds of measures. Yeah. So because it's an opinion, we have to first of all accept that this is people's opinion. And in translating that opinion into a statement of fact, we have to correct for perception bias. And there are statistical methodologies for correcting for perception bias. Okay, I want to look at another poll now. And it's uh, on the Made in Nigeria dress day. Did you know there was a dress day for Made in Nigeria? Is this Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> and it says Nigerians express support for the Made in Nigeria dress days as a means to stimulate economic growth. And 83% showed overwhelming support uh, for it regarding the Monday and Wednesday should be proposed by the presidency. Okay. That's, would you, would you support a, a thing like that? I, don't I mean, say. a specific day <laughs> to wear Nigerian outfits. To be honest with you, I, I say to people often time, it's like, it's like when I go into the banking hall and I see men and women wearing suits, I feel for them. <laughs> I honestly it's a hot do. country. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> you know, it's Monday to Thursday. I mean, why do you have to suffer yourself this long? And I think that we don't even need Made in Nigeria and Day to actually decide that, you know, we need to support local, you know, you know um, production. Maybe the more we support, maybe the more they become accessible. I think, you know, the problem people like me and a few other value Made in Nigeria, they're quite not affordable. You know, if I'm buying things for equally the same amount and buying things in any other part of the world, where it's probably better quality, well made, good finishing. I would go for that and go for Made in Nigeria. It's probably I'm because we haven't understood the mass production way of things yet, isn't it? Yes, and it's, it's also because even when we do, the cost of producing locally is it's quite expensive. It's still fast. very, you know, I'm a big fan. I've been doing Made in Nigeria before I didn't go Made in Nigeria. I wear Made in Nigeria a lot. But the problem is you cannot look at that and then think of the cost and I want to do this all the time. Because I think if I'm buying an equivalent of 800 pounds worth of suit locally. I mean, seriously, I'll get a cheaper version <laughs> somewhere, somewhere in England. So these are the things I think people ask. But how do we then support? You don't only support made in Nigeria, but what are the infrastructure available for people doing made in Nigeria to ensure that it's accessible, it's cheap and affordable, and production is also very, you know, yeah. good quality for people, where we can start exporting, yeah. you know, beyond just doing for ourselves. But that's the mentality. What do we want to do for ourselves? And if we're going to make money, it's not just by doing for ourselves only that you know we're going to make money from. Yeah. Uh, to go back now to the to the poll I talked about about sexual minorities now, what do you think? What do you think is the reason for for opinions like that to start shifting? Because most times, like you said, you do a, you do an opinion poll today, you find that a month later it's almost completely different, or you see an increase or a decrease in an issue like that. What would have 
cost that that increase in you know in support for sexual minorities uh, see the law in, in itself is set in a sociocultural and political context that context is also evolving we had a military rule back in the days 1999 when our current constitution was created we've been in a democracy since um, since then to this point responding to say the law as we have it is set in a sociocultural and political context those contexts move over time. So polls like this give us a reason to start asking, is any of the context moving? Do we need to then make further investigation to see whether things have sufficiently moved in our sociocultural context to warrant a change in the legal system? He mentioned about the criminal law and how it, it has required updates for a long time. But because we don't have surveys like this, giving us triggers to actually begin to address those issues we probably wouldn't see that things have moved and our laws are a cake yeah. so yes they do play a role in giving us something to think about on a final note now from you um, with the work you do with tears um, what are some of the things you want to see happening going forward? Because it's a very touchy issue with Nigerians. Very, it's a very sensitive very. issue. I'm sure people are even watching now, just like, what are they really talking about? You know? <laughs> what, what do you want to see going forward? I think, what, I think what I want to see is the fact that we don't have to sit here debating access to public health. We don't have to sit here dis debating access to justice. We don't need to discuss access to education and all of those things based on sexual orientation. It's very problematic. You know, we, we, should, be, we should be able to have a system where people are free. And be able to be themselves yeah. as long as you know who they are doesn't infringe on my human rights or your human rights we're fine we don't need to create you know another system another broken human rights system where even already we, we, we people were used to human rights violation i mean there's another point i had where it says many nigerians don't report human rights violation we're used to it. we live in it so we don't we can't even understand why people say this is a problem I can assess public health because of this or that. So I think what I want to see is a country and a system where we respect human rights and has access to. How far away from that? We're very far, like 20 years. <laughs> 20 years is not bad. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we, we, I mean, we, we, we've been on this for 12 years. years old. <laughs> this is about 12 years old. So if you had 20 plus 12, that's 32 years. It took you as more than 250 years to get there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're we'll catching up with time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys, for being here today. It was an absolute pleasure thank talking you. about this. Um, yeah. Please, uh, maybe we should do a poll on how people feel about Robin Mines. I don't know. <laughs> 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 that would be, be an interesting one. If it's bad, please don't, don't give us the results. Thanks for being here today.